going on YouTube so this is the second box I've built trades box 3d printed main case here dimmer switch color switch interchangeable turntables and these are magnetic feet for when you take this piece out let me just set this down Yeah, I got the dimmer switch here. That's good because the last one doesn't have the dimmer switch. And um, really shiny stuff, you about want to turn the light really down for the shiniest stuff. Turn it all the way up for product photography. Or even just normal 3D scanning with it. Let's see, it's got the, got the same color features, but it's a little... It works better than the last one because of the way I wired it. You can see uh, it's nice and nice and clean in there now. Last one is all it was, a, it was a hot mess. Yeah, that's all. That's a. I mean, that one works great, but this one I made to be a little better. Now this is an old. Uh, that is an old fire extinguisher nozzle. Not a fire extinguisher. A fire hose nozzle. Really nice piece. 3D scanning it now. Oh, I got the program running on the computer. I'm using 3DF Zephyr Lite. I'm trying that some more. Let's see. Turn off the color. I think it's linked to my sound right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing the um, the sound linkage. So let me turn that off. Just give me a color. Yeah, give me red. Yeah, you can see some cool stuff there. Let me see. Let me um turn the that's a that's the under light. This is the turntable switch. I've already got it wired into the computer. I was gonna scan. This is an old rusty. Yeah, you know what it is. It's an old rusty thing. Uh, water water valve thing. Upload. Upload the script. 36 photos. Oh wait, the computer camera's not hooked up. Need the camera. Well, it's it's taking photos, photos, but the camera's not hooked up. You know what? I'm just gonna pause this. Hold on. All right, and we're back. Got the camera now hooked up. Hook to the box. Let's see, and now let's upload the program again. Thirty six photos. So they need to be a little closer. Yeah, it likes to fall off the table sometimes. A lot. I, I use double-sided tape a lot of the time to keep that from happening. Because it does mess up the scan when you do it like that. But not everything falls off. I need to make the, um, one of the last things I still have to do to this one is make bigger turntables for that. So that stuff doesn't like to fall off as easy. Watch out. I don't want to finish up the in a second. See, best thing about this new updated version is the fact that the box comes out. 
click, click, clickety clock. All right, well, that's not important right now. I'm just demonstrating some of the stuff we can do with it. So now, I'm unbolting it from the bottom. Right, let me set this down. Thought I need a cameraman. Unscrew it. Let's see. I need to undo the clamp that is holding the shaft on. So we loosen up the clamp here. I'm just using a simple hose clamp right there. Pull the shaft out. Yeah, and now we can pull this piece out. Pull the top piece out. We can now set it on top of the box and hang stuff off of it. That way you can, you can put an object right here and spin it. Doop, doop, doop. But, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to plug the computer for a second. And these are just uh, simple magnet feet. I've got some uh, big round ones I'm about to order that are a little prettier than these. And got some rubber feet on them. Yeah. Alright. I mean, I got, I, mean, I got really strong magnets so that I can stick it on top of the truck and not worry about it blowing off or nothing. So these, these suckers, there's like 80 pounds of force between all of them, I think. Just a, a lot. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pull the box off the truck, which is, which is what we're going for. Oh, it doesn't have to be a trucking. It's just magnetic feet, you know, so you can mount it on anything. Iron, basically. Cool. I'm getting my drill. Tighten those suckers up. Now we got our magnet feet on. It'll clamp to all the magnets. Can't quite hold itself on <laughs> that one little rail, but all right. So then we got our shaft here. Put another shaft on there. And where are you? There you are. Now, we have our camera base. 
just using the standard um, a quarter by 20 screw. Tighten up two clamps. And the thing about that is I can vary the size so when I'm out on top of the truck I can I can have it here, then I can go even higher with it. I'm at there or even a little bit lower and get it lower. I've got a little different script I've written for this, but it's not working as well as it should. The script I wrote is kind of kind of janky, honestly. But it lets me turn it right or left. Okay, click, clock, and click. Oh, it's trying to focus now. I'll stop doing that. Yeah, you can't focus on a white wall camera. Stop. Oh, it's not connected as well, so it's just going to keep doing it. Oh, there we go. Now it stopped. Alright. So now I've got this other script I've kind of been using. Open recent. Which is the pan script but it really doesn't work as well as it ought to tools open serial monitor now let's upload this one and what this one's gonna do is I'm gonna control the camera with I want to say left I have to read exactly how it did it again D, it's D right, D, D turns left, D turns right, and A turns right, D, enter. Problem uploading the board, alright, hold on. Yeah, there it goes, it just it didn't want to do it, the first one, D. See, now it's turning. Now I'll turn the other side. I think spaces take picture. Take photo. No. A. Turn right. Space, take photo. D, turn right. Take photo. It's trying to focus on a white wall, so that's not the best thing. But now it's... Take photo. Yeah, well, let's show you one more thing. I'm going to take this outside. 